So I don't talk about superhero movies much on this channel. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of other people that are going to talk about superhero movies a lot better than I can. A lot more people, you know, in, more enthused than me. But I went and seen the new Spider-Man movie last night. Uh, I, I do see the new Marvel films as they come out. DC, I'm actually kind of getting into right now because uh, uh, before it was kind of just the Christopher Nolan uh, Dark Knight trilogy and Joker, but now I've actually uh, started to get into them a little bit more. Like today, I watched Birds of Prey. And maybe tomorrow I might watch Su uh, Suicide Squad. And of course, I'm going to try to watch the other ones. And I've seen Wonder Woman, like, you know, before. It's crazy because I'm talking about a Marvel film, but yet I'm talking about DC films. That's That's how into superhero films I am. I, you know what I mean? They're, they're all just the same to me. Um, but, uh, but not in a bad way. Uh, I enjoy superhero films. You know, they're, they're fun to watch and, uh, you know, I don't have any issue with them. But I want to talk about the new Spider-Man movie and I am going to talk about spoilers around, you know, halfway through the video, but I'll sort of, you know, give you guys a warning if you don't want to have it spoiled. Um, so, first off, I guess I'll say this because, no, I'm not going to say it because some people but uh but yeah we watched it last night and it was a blast i i had a, a lot of fun with it uh my wife actually went and saw it with me which was awesome you know she it's been a while since she went to the theater um and we had a blast i will say though i wish the audience that uh that you know i was with uh you know it, it was a pretty packed theater for it to be a well i mean i'm, I'm it, it was i saw it opening day i didn't see it like the opening night before but it was pretty packed um yeah, when they started doing certain things in the film, you know, everybody, you know, the the, the crowd was kind of, you know, they were kind of lowered down, you know, they weren't getting really enthused. Uh, I was sitting there like, okay, I want to cheer right now, you know, because this is awesome. And then finally, you know, there were some moments where the crowd went wild. and uh, There were a few people I could tell that wanted to go wild too. And I mean, it, just give me an excuse to go wild in the theater, you know, because I think that's awesome to sit in a theater and just, you know, have everybody laughing and cheering and stuff. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I love that stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, it, 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 it was a pretty, pretty fun experience. I, you know, I, I haven't had a theater experience like this in a while. I think the last time was, you know, where I actually had a theater that was sitting there. What was, a uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or it was Star Wars The Last Jedi? That was the last one where the audience was going. But I think The Last Jedi actually did it. Um, and here I am talking about Star Wars films with, with superhero films. But Spider-Man No Way Home is, I would, I would definitely say it's a fan service film. Um, you know, it, it really doesn't talk about much from the other Marvel films. Uh, you know, and I am up to date. I haven't seen The Eternals yet, but uh, I need to watch that soon. But, you know, I am up to date with it. Uh, you know, you, you could honestly just, I, I, I feel like anybody could really jump into this film. Uh, you know, I, I really do. I feel like anybody could jump into this film. I've only seen uh, Spider-Man uh, Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home once. So I've not, I, I haven't had any rewatches for those. Um, and I was able to, you know, jump into the film just fine. But, uh, but yeah, if you're already like a Marvel fan and you're sold on Marvel and Spider-Man, if you've not seen this movie yet, I'd be surprised uh, because this film is a pretty big one. It's a pretty big one that people are going out to see, and I would recommend it. I had a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of fun. Pretty good theater experience. Uh, and now I'm going to talk about some spoilers because, you know, that's kind of, it's really hard for me to talk about this film without them. So if you do not want the film spoiled, please click away now. I don't want to be the one to spoil it for you. Um, I'm going to give you five seconds. Okay, you've been warned. Uh, here we go. Now, when I was talking about the audience going wild in the theater, uh, when they were showing off like Doc Ock and Electro and uh, the Green Goblin, I, when I saw the Green Goblin, I wanted to just get up and be like, I mean, as soon as I saw Willem Dafoe, you know, and uh, it, Sandman, eh, kind of, but, uh, but yeah, the audience went wild when they saw like Andrew Garfield and they went wild when they saw Tobey Maguire. I mean, when Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man came into the film, the audience absolutely lost it. I lost it too because I remember being in the theater uh, for the original Spider-Man when I was like, I think I was maybe, I forget when it came out, but I want to say I was like five or six. I think five. I was born in 1997, so 
Yeah, I, I was born like mid-1997. So, yeah, I remember Spider-Man. I remember the original Spider-Man. And I also remember sitting in the movie theater and seeing the trailer for Spider-Man 2 and absolutely losing my shit. Because I know I'm a youngin', but I do remember there was a time where I didn't have the internet to go look for new films. The way that I found out about new films was whenever I walked into the theater and I saw movie posters or I saw movie trailers. That's what that's how I got to know new films. That's you know that that's kind of how that worked. Um so and, and I grew up on Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I I absolutely love those films. I think they're uh behind I, honestly I might say that they're they're better than the Dark Knight trilogy. Maybe, maybe. They're kind of neck and neck, but uh but yeah, and when I saw Tobey Maguire, that was just, you know, like, even not being the biggest superhero fan, that right there was awesome. I mean, that right right there was awesome, you know? Because, I mean, I and I have a kid on the way, you know, like, and, and he's going to be born next month. And it's just really cool to know that if he does decide to want to watch, you know, these superhero films, these Marvel films, that he's going to be able to watch Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3. He's going to be able to watch uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. He's going to be able to watch The Amazing Spider-Man the Amazing Spider-Man 2, and plus have this big universe of films, you know, and it's, and, and he doesn't have to wait, like, 15 years, like, you know, me and my wife did, uh, and yeah, it was just fun, you know, and I know superhero films get a lot of slack, and I, you know, it's kind of a topic you shouldn't even bring up, uh, and, and I understand where both sides are coming from, I almost actually made a video about that, too, about our superhero films, you know, cinema, uh, but I didn't want to be that guy to do it, I like superhero movies. They're fun. It's nice to just have a film where you can sit in the theater and just not care. You know, like, not care. You can just sit back, relax, enjoy yourself. Uh, I did that today, actually, watching Harley Quinn. So that, that was actually a lot of fun, too. If you haven't seen Birds of Prey, that was a lot of fun. But, uh, but yeah, guys, it was it was fan service. They, they hit a lot of the nostalgic beats, but it was a lot of fun. And I really hope that we can have another experience like that, you know, in the theater. Like, I mean, where the crowd is cheering and stuff. And I know we will, but um, just, you know, you don't get a film like this a lot. You know, where even though it is pulling on people's heartstrings, you get sort of what you wanted. You get what you asked for. Because when I went into this film, I got everything I wanted. I mean, I got everything that I asked for. So technically speaking, I could say it's a perfect movie. Now, is it better than a lot of the perfect movies that I've seen? Uh, that I that I feel like are perfect. No, absolutely not. But it met all my expectations, and I was very satisfied. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Let me know what your favorite Spider Man is uh, or Spider Man movie is down in the uh, comments below, and let me know what you thought of Spider Man Far From Home in the comments below. Don't don't spoil anything, you know, because there might be some people that may just stumble upon this video and just be like, oh, okay, well, wow. Doc Ock, or, well, I mean, he was already there, but whatever. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys seen this film, I hope you had a blast at the theater. I hope you guys are staying safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time.